table. Today I'm excited to talk about what's known as partner panels. This is a great way to add extensibility to your existing Adobe applications. And today I'm going to talk about Pond5. This is a, a stock marketplace company that I've been working with since NAB 2012. And they've done an amazing job of bringing some of this uh, technology forward. So I want to share with you today uh, how you go about uh, getting their new plugin for Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to their website just in case you're not familiar with it. And as you'll see, it looks like a very typical stock media uh, marketplace. But again, this one uh, deserves a closer look. They've got uh, a great way of organizing clips and audio. They've got After Effects projects and sound effects and some other great stuff. It's free to, uh, to sign up and check out. So I would go ahead and, uh, and ask you to do that. And I think after this demo, uh, you'll, uh, you'll see why I'm so excited about this. So first, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the new plugin is for, uh, for Premiere Pro. So I'll go ahead and call out the link for you. It'll also be in the description of this video. Uh, and as you'll see, um, you'll be able to click on the uh, download beta plugin. And uh, it's been working great. We've been using it uh, internal at Adobe uh, for a couple of months now and are really excited with it. So once you download that, you'll see that it'll put a, uh, a ZXP file on your, uh, on your system. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. That's going to go ahead and bring up what's known as the Adobe Extension Manager. You might have seen this before, but not be exactly uh, sure uh, what it is. Um, but what it, again, is going to do is it's going to add additional functionality to uh, existing Adobe applications. So in this case, it's going to show me uh, exactly uh, which program Pond5 is going to work in. And again, it's going to work in Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, the Extension Manager is also where you go to, uh, uh, to remove it uh, as well and you can also go to the exchange sites uh, by clicking on exchange and you can see other uh, ways to uh, uh, extend the capabilities of other Adobe applications as well so I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how this works so here I am in a typical project where you'll find the extension is under window extension pond 5 and what you'll see is it brings up what looks to be a fairly typical Adobe uh, Pro Video panel. And I'm going to go ahead and dock this. Uh, I like my panels docked. It just helps me keep my workspace neat. And at this point, I can start looking uh, for different types of media. Tons and tons of uh, clips out there. So let's go ahead and just type in something more specific to my project. And I'm just going to type in uh, Dirt Track. Uh, maybe cars and see what it comes up with and it looks like it's got some pretty cool clips there So I can just start to look at some of this while my client sitting next to me and try to figure out uh, Which clip is going to go best in my project? What type of clip are we looking for and you can start to scroll down and see the different clips now? What about previewing they don't exactly have hover scrub, but they have something that's pretty close if you just put your mouse on top of a clip uh, not only do you get video, but you get the audio as well. It also tells me that the clip is 720. Uh, I can click on some of these other ones, and they might be uh, 1080. I can start to review some of these. This particular clip is, uh, is HD 1080. So when I download these clips, I can go ahead and press on the conform, and it'll go ahead and replace the low res with the high res. So let me show you how easy this is. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It downloads it inside my project right here. Uh, at this point, I can double click on it to go ahead and review it, or I can just drag it into my, uh, my project and start working with it instantly. Now for me, I wanna go ahead and drag it into where this clip is, because I want it to appear uh, right here after this clip here, as if it's a following scene. And I'm just gonna go ahead and insert that in, and I'm gonna go and hold down the control key on on Windows and Command on Mac to go ahead and just insert that right in there. And at this point, I'm going to look at this clip and see, well, it is a proxy. It's a 64360 clip. So all I have to do is right mouse click, go to scale to frame size, and pop that right out. And again, once you hit the conform button, it'll go ahead and replace that with the higher res clip. But again, for working with your clients and trying to put together your project, this is really fast. So I'll go and uh, hit play. 
and look at that and say, well, that's not too bad. Maybe what I want to do is start to trim this. So you can start to work with this footage exactly like you would as if it was um, you know, a clip that you would shot yourself. This is the power of this system. I can go ahead and instantly start to work with some of this footage. It is an amazingly simple way to work with stock footage. And check it out. Again, go to, go to Pond5. I'll pop it up here again. Go ahead and sign up and let us know what you think. Thanks for taking a look at the tech table.